Hi, it's Katrina. From huge bears hiding in caves to giant mastodons in the jungle, here are 10 Ice Age beasts that could still exist. Number 10. The Giant Ground Sloth You've probably at some point been caught up by the cuteness of sloths. I mean, you can't help but like them. All they do is climb through trees and spend most of their life sleeping. But their ancestors were entirely different beasts altogether. Giant ground sloths lived in the Americas during the Ice Age and were huge herbivores that lived in the forests alongside rivers and lakes. The largest ground sloth, Megalonyx jeffersoni, was the size of an ox when fully grown and could grow up to 10 feet long and get up to 2,200 pounds in weight. Despite officially having gone extinct thousands of years ago, there are still sightings of a creature known as the Mapinguari across South America. Legend says that this creature has giant claws, backward-facing feet, and an extra mouth on its belly. But some think it could actually be a remaining species of ground sloth that still lives in the thick forest. There are a number of similarities between the descriptions, and even the mouth on the belly may not be too far-fetched. Giant sloths have scent glands, and maybe it looks like a mouth of some kind? It's hard to say, but maybe that's what the witnesses saw. Number 9. Cave Bears Cave bears lived across Europe and Asia until about 24,000 years ago. As the name would suggest, they are thought to have spent most of their lives in caves, but no one knows this for sure. They got their name because the majority of their fossils have been found in caves. They were distant relatives of the brown bear and were a similar size, also weighing up to 2,200 pounds. Imagine a sloth and a bear weighing the same thing. The skeletons that have been found show that there were huge populations across Europe, and their mouth structure had developed to allow them to survive in the harshest times of the Ice Age. They had, for example, a molarized tooth shape that allowed them to extract nutrition from the tough vegetation that remained as temperatures plummeted. The bears eventually became extinct because of human hunting, and for a long time it had been thought that none were left. However, because of their large population numbers and the places where they are thought to have lived, there are some who believe cave bears could still be alive. After all, if they spend most of their lives hidden in caves, those that lived in regions with very few humans had a good chance of surviving. Maybe, in remote regions, this species is still thriving in hidden caves, just waiting to be discovered. Number 8. Aurochs Aurochs were one of the earliest species of cow, but they were nothing like the ones we see today. They were as tall as elephants, were incredibly powerful, and had giant horns that made them a significant threat. They were, for many thousands of years, the largest land mammals in Europe. Unfortunately for them, increasing populations of humans who hunted them for food meant the end of the auroch. It was believed that the final auroch was killed in Poland in 1627. It was one of the first recorded examples of human-induced extinction, a record that some researchers are trying to reverse. The loss of the auroch is seen as a tragic hit to the biodiversity of the region, where their huge appetite for grazing created habitats that allowed other species to thrive. As the ancestors of current breeds, their genome is still present, and geneticists have been selectively breeding cattle in an attempt to bring back the traits of the auroch. The program is well underway, and while the researchers think they will reach a near 100% perfect version by 2025, it's quite possible that they have already returned from extinction. They just haven't shared it with the public yet. And now for number 7. But first, do you think it's possible any of these animals could still be around? Let me know in the comments below. And be sure you're subscribed before you leave. Number 7. The Megalania The Megalania prisca was a huge and deadly monitor lizard that lived in Australia until about 40,000 years ago. They grew to up to 30 feet long, and their name literally means ancient giant butcher. It was one of the dominant predators on the continent, and they were extremely venomous. But did they actually go extinct all those years ago? Stories from the Aborigines describe an ancient giant dragon beast caused death and destruction. Was it the Megalania? Did their early ancestors cross paths with the lizard? Australia is so far away from the rest of the world that the country is renowned for having species not seen anywhere else. And with such large amounts of the country being sparsely populated, there are those who think the Megalania is still alive in some remote regions. There have been a number of sightings of giant lizards in the 19th and 20th centuries, and there are also suggestions that they may still be alive in nearby islands such as New Guinea, where the most recent sighting was in 1960. 
It seems quite possible that in the dense undergrowth, the megalania may still be thriving away from prying eyes, along with numerous other large reptile species just waiting to be discovered. If you're ever lucky enough to visit that part of the world, just be sure to keep an eye out in case you come face to face with one of these giants. And if you do, be sure to let us know. Number six, the mastodon. Mastodons were large elephant-like animals that lived across North and Central America until about 10,000 years ago. Their herds roamed through forests where they grazed on the vegetation. Remains of at least four different species of mastodon have been found, with the American mastodon being both the most famous and the last surviving type. As with many other animals from the Ice Age, evidence shows that mastodons became extinct because of the pressure from human hunting, as well as some climate change. Still though, there are legends and supposed sightings of the majestic beasts, and continued suggestions that they may still be alive in the dense vegetation of Central America. If this is true, they would have had some major adapting to do, and I can't imagine it would be easy for such a large creature to remain hidden. However, there are many areas of the jungle unknown to scientists, and the local people are not saying a word. Number 5. Arctic Ground Squirrel Arctic ground squirrels first came to prominence during the last ice age, with nests having been found that are more than 90,000 years old. Remember from the movie Ice Age? That little squirrel was nutty, but he could survive everything. These nests have shown how well adapted the squirrels were during the icy conditions, and are full of leftovers of nesting grasses, seed stores, droppings, and even the remains of other squirrels and small animals. They are one of the largest species of squirrel and grow up to 14 inches long with a tail that could be up to 6 inches long. They are actually one of the species that thrive through the Ice Age that are still prevalent in some areas today. They can be found across the Arctic tundra where they are known as Sik Siks by the Inuits. Their trick to surviving in such an inhospitable environment is that they are one of the only Arctic creatures that hibernate, something they do for about 7 months every year. Scientific American is fascinated by these creatures because during hibernation, the ground squirrel's brain loses many vital neural connections, but it has evolved a way to recuperate. Scientists think that understanding that process might help us treat Alzheimer's. They live in large colonies with extensive tunnels and hibernation chambers, and therefore spend most of their lives underground. This is probably why they haven't suffered from extreme hunting like other species have although their numbers are closely monitored to ensure it stays that way. So these little guys are actually confirmed to still be around. Number 4. The Short-Faced Bear The giant short-faced bear prowled across North America until about 11,000 years ago. It lived at a time when there was tough competition from animals like the dire wolf and American lion, but most would have stayed out of the way of this bear. It was much bigger than the bears that we see today. The polar bear, for example, is the largest species of bear in the world now. They can grow to up to 2,200 pounds, while the remains of one short-faced bear that was found in 1935 suggest it could have been as heavy as 3,500 pounds. They grew to be about 10 feet tall, which, when it stood on its hind legs, would make it reach as high as a regulation basketball hoop. Plus, it could run up to 40 miles per hour. You would have thought that an animal of this size and potential danger would struggle to stay unnoticed if they still exist, but some believe that they are still present in the northern reaches of the continent. Occasionally, there have been sightings of huge, strange bears, and the discovery of pelts and other specimens that seem to have come from a large animal like this. While its continued existence is unlikely, it's possible that there could be a small population still alive somewhere far away from human activity. There have been some rumors. Number 3. The Moa New Zealand is famous for its unusual wildlife because of its isolation and the lack of many different types of predators that are common in other places. Because of this, many species of birds flourished before humans began to hunt them, and one of the strangest ones was known as the Moa. There were 15 types of Moa. Some had thick, muscly legs, others laid eggs the size of footballs, and the giant Moa was the tallest bird ever known to have existed reaching up to 13 feet tall. The moa had evolved over thousands of years, but by the time European settlers reached New Zealand, there were none left. This is the official story at least, but there are persistent suggestions that some types of moa may still be around. In the past decade, a series of photos were taken of supposed moa footprints, but they were sold online without ever being published. 
Of course, these could have been a hoax, but it's also possible that someone has tracked down a location where they still live and wants to protect them from the same issues that caused their extinction in the first place. We may never know if the moa is truly extinct, but there are those who will continue to look until they find the proof they are after, although it might be better to leave well enough alone. Number 2. The Saber-Toothed Cat Saber-toothed cats were another species that lived worldwide until around 11,000 years ago. The name is actually misleading because they weren't related to modern cats and actually have closer links to marsupials. They were very large creatures with bear-like bodies and the recognizable curved canine teeth that protruded from their mouths. They were fearsome predators feasting on elephants, rhinos, and other large mammals of the time. They went extinct at around the same time as many other species from the Ice Age. It's believed that they were hunted by early humans and that they ran out of the huge food sources that they needed to survive. There are many who think that some species of saber-toothed cat still exist, particularly in Africa. One such beast, known as the Anedi tiger, is said to live in the Anedi Plateau in the east of Chad. They are rumored to be larger than lions, have distinctive red-banded fur with white stripes, protruding canine teeth, but no tails. Locals tell legends of these creatures living in the caves of the mountains, but as of yet, no photographic evidence has ever been captured. Number 1. The Woolly Mammoth Probably the most famous of Ice Age animals, there have been some mysterious encounters with the supposedly extinct woolly mammoth. In the 1500s until about the 1800s, explorers in Alaska and Siberia reported seeing giant hairy elephants roaming around. Native tribes would report there were hairy beasts that slept against trees but were very rare. These incredible creatures could grow to up to 11 feet tall and weigh as much as 7 tons. They were well adapted to the cold temperatures being covered in fur, and they grew long curved tusks that were actually fully replaced six times during a mammoth's lifetime. They coexisted with humans for a time, but the last mainland woolly mammoths died off about 10,000 years ago, with the last survivors in isolated populations dying around 4,000 years ago. Despite the universal belief that the mammoths are truly extinct, there is a new project that's underway to bring them back. Led by a team of Russian scientists, research is being carried out in the territory of Yakutia, which covers a huge amount of land in the Arctic Circle. The researchers are convinced that this de-extinction project is viable because they have retrieved perfectly frozen remains from the environment. It's too early to know if they have been successful, but it's quite possible that within a few years, the majestic woolly mammoth could roam the frozen tundra once again. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you soon. Bye!